All right, good morning. I'm Jordan Lulich. This is the Lulich Corner, and today I get the opportunity to sit down again with Jonathan Raymond from Sea Winds Funeral Home. So first off, Jonathan, I always like to give you an opportunity to introduce yourself, and we really appreciate having you back on the show, taking your time to sit down with us and talk a little bit about uh, you know funerals today. So thank you. You're welcome. I'm honored to be here. I love to share information with the community that we're privileged to serve so they can be, become an informed consumer about the how the what and the why we do things and why you should do things. What I'd like to focus today on, Jonathan, is you know when a family is going about looking to select a funeral home, there's they go on Google or they ask a friend. There's going to be numerous recommendations in the community. I'm an advocate of no matter who you're choosing to work with is to do your research. So how do you go about doing the proper research and how do you go about making sure that you're making the right decision when you're choosing a funeral home to work with? Great question, Jordan. The, you know, many people interview different types of service providers like attorneys, sure. banks, yeah. um, and financial advisors, financial advisors to make sure they are dealing with somebody that's reputable, compassionate, empathetic, and understanding. Um, you know, Jordan, I always wanted to know, why did you, cho- why did your family choose Seawinds? That's an interesting question. Uh, there was a relationship that we had with some of the people at Seawinds. People want to work with people that they know they like and they trust. That's what it boils down to. That's right. You know, yeah. and for us, we knew we liked and we trust Seawinds. But a lot of times people don't often have that opportunity of knowing someone that they like and trust. You know, so that that's becomes one a little bit more difficult, you know, in trying to navigate and make that decision on. Who do you know, like, and trust? Mm-hmm. You know, and I appreciate that response. And I, I thank you for having that trust in Sea Winds Funeral Home to do and care for your father and your family. You know, it, it gives you an opportunity prior to someone's passing to go out and meet with funeral providers. It, it really doesn't matter what you do. You can stop at a funeral home, knock on a door. Nothing that anybody does on a regular basis. Hey, there's a funeral home. Let's stop in and see what's going on. No one does that until they're forced to do that. Unfortunately, when you're forced to do that, it means that there's been somebody that's either near death or has died. At that point in time, it still gives you an opportunity to come to the funeral home, regardless of what funeral home it is. And you should go to multiple funeral homes, meet the people, see the building, get a feeling for who you're going to be dealing with. Would you like to continue that? And you use the word relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's important. Do you trust and have faith in what someone is saying to you? Um, do you have a good feeling that they're going to provide you with the care necessary to survive this event? Some people get stuck in grief for the rest of their existence, and it's a challenge uh, for those people to wake up every day. Sure. Grief is a very powerful emotion. And if you don't do the right thing, you don't choose the right provider, you don't have that faith or relationship or trust in someone, you're vulnerable to being taken advantage of, not getting what you feel that you need, and you will learn from that experience by not going back to that provider, regardless of what provider it is. You take your car to an auto mechanic and they don't do what they were supposed to do for your vehicle. You're probably not going to go back to that repair shop because you didn't get something that you thought you should have. And I consider um, the life of a loved one much more important than the value of a vehicle. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm hearing you say is, you know, make sure you go in, make sure you essentially interview you know, where you're thinking about going because it, it is an important decision and you want to make sure that the decision you make results in, in a positive experience, as positive as that experience gets, because certainly a negative experience in going through grieving and in through trying to work through all of the emotions of losing a loved one really be tragic for someone for years to come. So I, I do absolutely think it's a very important decision. What do people expect when when they when they do go to a funeral home? I mean, are they working with a team of people or is there usually someone that's, you know, specifically assigned to help them through this process or in the way that funeral homes are, are run, you know, what what what's to expect when you do call up a funeral home and start to have those conversations with with those funeral homes? Um, you know, what what can one expect? When you place the first phone call to a funeral home, you should be greeted with compassion and empathy and be treated professionally in a professional manner. Uh, A funeral director is who you'll mostly likely be dealing with. Those are the people that make arrangements with you, listen to your needs and wants, and fulfill those needs and wants with the services and merchandise Mm -hmm. that are available at that funeral home. It gives you an opportunity, like you said, to 
ask the questions, uh, get a sense of who you're dealing with, feel that you're being treated honestly and respectfully uh, and with compassion and empathy. Uh, that's what our families tell us yeah. is most important to them. The feeling that we cared and that we listened and that we fulfilled what they wanted. In funeral service, um, as time has passed, like you said, things have changed, but the visitation, the funeral service and the burial don't always take place the way they used to. Visitation has become something that um, is when someone else wants it, right? When the family wants it, they may not want uh, two to four or seven to nine visitation. Right. They may want a visitation on the beach uh, for people to come and be sure. in a relaxed, you know. A, a little bit more intimate, yeah. An intimate gathering. It gives people an opportunity to ask those open, and you know, questions, um, understand who they're dealing with, and create that event that they, as I said before, that they want to remember instead of they want to forget. This might be a little difficult of a question, but what would red flags be when someone's interviewing a funeral home, what what do you think would raise red flags for someone for as they're having that conversation, maybe something they see, something they witness, or some of the responses that they're getting from in asking questions and trying to make a decision on, on to hire this funeral home? What do you see? Maybe even if it's one or two red flags. You know, that that's an easy answer. Okay. Answer okay. question. And I appreciate that. That's an excellent question. Red flags would be um, calling a funeral home and then answering your question directly without asking more clarifying information, um, not having enough time or making enough time to answer questions and listen, um, not really giving a, a meaningful presence in that event. Uh, and what I mean by that is when someone says, geez, you know, how much is something? And they just shoot out a price to you. Mm -hmm. uh, people ask more about, like I said, um, they vet, if you might, if I might use that word, um, is somebody that they deal with that that isn't such a meaningful event in someone's life. And how do I make that a little clearer? Well, it's not, it's not, it's not something you go to a store and buy off a shelf, I think is what Correct. you're getting at. Yeah. That's right. It's you mentioned words like relationship, trust. Value should be an important part of that. Not every funeral home is priced the same. Yeah. What is the difference in the value that someone's providing? What feeling do you get? You know, we all have a gut and our gut tells us what we should and shouldn't do. If you don't feel as though someone's listening or feel as though someone cares or feel as if somebody has the time for you, even if it's at that moment, um, those things are all things that you should listen to. Um, uh, you should be treated with warmth and compassion, patience and understanding. Um, and respectful as well, and deal with the right people, yep. right? A funeral director, a licensed person that can answer your questions and provide you the comfort of knowing, uh, of giving you the information to make you an informed consumer. That's what you need to be in today's day and age, an informed consumer. Absolutely. You know, do your research, ask people you trust, look online, and then take that opportunity to sit down with the funeral home, ask those questions, make sure there's a level of comfort, a level of gut feeling that you have, a level of trust that's given. And, and I think the biggest takeaway, it's it's not that dollar amount is that it costs. That's not the first answer. It's it's more of an understanding that the group understands what, what it is that you know your loved one wanted or what your family wants to do. And learn a little bit about the person. I think that those are huge takeaways. And, and Jonathan, I really appreciate you coming on. We're, we're out of time, um, but I appreciate you coming on once again. Thank you so much. If people want to reach out to you, how can they contact you? Well, they certainly can contact at Sea Winds Funeral Home and Crematory. Um, sea Winds Funeral Home and Crematory is located at 735 South Fleming Street in Sebastian. Uh, you can stop by the funeral home. You should not be afraid to go into a funeral home. Our building is very comfortable. Uh, welcoming and and consoling. Um, so and our and the people that I'm privileged to lead and work with every day are caring and compassionate and empathetic. And that's what you should be looking for when you are seeking a funeral home to provide those services to your family. All right. And that's it. I'm Jordan Lulich. This is a Lulich Corner. We'll see you next time. 